this is the upper body. This is basically the basic body. So I started from marking out two inches for the shoulder slants, two inches there, marking the shoulder slants. This is my back measurement. The back is 7.5, 15 divided by two. That's 7.5 plus half inches, plus half inches to join the sleeve. So this is eight, eight. Then I marked my my half O, and to get my arm O curve. I marked the middle of the arm, which is four. Then I marked my arm hole. Then the neck, I used four inches by 4.5. You don't want it too um, tight on your neck and you don't want it too low because it's just a yoke. So after that, this is the first point. This is the underboss and this is the waist, the half length. So after that, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be marking the nipple to nipple. The nipple to nipple for this is seven inches. 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5 plus half, which is 4. So mark the 4 all through. So after marking the nipple to nipple, which is 4 inches, we are going to start taking the dart. We we'll take 1 inch from both sides. 1 inch. Under 1 inch from the under bust. Then we will connect. So after connecting the dart um, from the waist to the under bust, the next thing will be connecting to the bust point. But before you connect to the bust point, you can mark down about 0.25 so, so that your the bust point will not be too sharp. Marking about 0.25. You can use your hand, your free hand if you are good at that. So the next thing we'll be doing. The next thing we'll be doing will be marking, we'll be checking the measurement between the neck and the shoulder. Here we have four inches. So we'll be marking the middle, which is two inches. And we'll be connecting it to we'll be connecting it to the um to the boss point here. So um so after connecting the lines to the boss point, the next thing we'll be doing is um our boss point is 10 why the under boss is three which means that the difference between the two is three inches so from this boss point we'll be marking up three inches now this now depends on how you want you can try to make it 2.5 it depends on how you want um your your sweetheart neck it depends on how low you want it so for this particular um customer for this particular wedding dress we are doing uh, she does not she's not really busty so i can just decide to make it 2.5 and I, I can decide to leave it at three so it depends on how low i want it but i think this 3.5 is okay here so on this 3.5 i'll be marking it that of one inches on both sides after marking the dot on both sides i connected it to the bust point here so now you're going to determine you're going to determine um the length you want. You're going to determine um the length you want. So for here, I'm going to be making use of um length of neck um depth of about I think eight point five. Eight point five is okay here, and you can try to make it. You can put it on your boss point. It depends on how low you want your sweetheart to be. So you connect. Let me see. I think I should reduce it to 9 inches or 8.75. So either of the two, I'm going to make it of either of the two. Yeah. So you connect it to this, your dart area here. So here you connect to your arm hole. From this, you connect to your arm hole. So after connecting your neck depth, I'm going to connect it all the way to the dart area here, then down to your arm hole. So the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be imputing the uh, measurement. Our bust measurement is 39 inches divided by 4. 39 inches divided by 4 is 9.75. So we'll be marking 9.75 here. This dart here, you know, we took one inch from both sides, which is two inches. We'll be adding the two inches back also. 
then we'll be adding sewing allowance. I'll make use of just 1.5. Can decide to make use of one since will be the sewing will be invisible. We'll be, we'll be sewing it inwards. So you can decide to make use of one, but I'll make use of 1.5. So for the waist, so for the waist, the 3 divided by 4 is 8.25. We'll mark the 8.25. Yeah. The one inch on both sides, which is two inches, we we'll add the two inches to it. Then one point five will be adding for the sewing allowance. We add one point five to it. Then you connect it all together. So, with this now we have our upper bodies. With this, we are going to use this to cut out. So we're going to cut this out. Then you see what uh, how it looks. Then we are going to use that pattern paper to cut out on fabrics and on satin. Okay. So after cutting out, this is how it looks. This is the yoke. This is the yoke here. This is the middle, and this is the side. So we'll be cutting this out on fabrics. But before then, um, practice your own pattern and post it on the group chat. So this is the back. The same thing I did for the front, I did shoulder slants, um, my armhole here, and this is the armhole line. This is the bust point, this is the half length with the waist, which one we call it. So now this is the nipple to nipple at the back also. So we are going to be taking the back with the nipple to nipple. We are going to mark half inch on both sides. This back is half inch and not one. So I'm going to mark half inch and I'm going to connect it together. Well, before you connect it to the bust point, you are going to mark down like 0 0.25 so it won't be too sharp at the bust point area. So this is connected to your bust point here. So the next thing we'll be doing is we will be marking our measurements. So the next thing we'll be doing is Okay, the bus is 39 divided by 4. That's 9.75. We're marking 9.75 here. So on the waist, it's 33 divided by 4, 8.25. 8.25 plus this half half, which is 1 inch. That's 9.25. So here we'll go back here and we add our sewing allowance. The sewing allowance here is 1.5 as we did to the front. Here to making use of 1.5 and we connect it together. So yeah, we connected the measurements together. So the next thing we'll be doing, we want to know how low our back will be. I'll be making use of a very low back, a very low one. So I, I want it to start from I want it to start from my bust point here. So I'm going I'm going to make use of this line. So I'm going to connect it. To my arm o so like i said my like i said my back wideness is that has to be the same thing with the front which is four inches wideness and this this is the way we want we want it very very low so i cut this down then from the um neck depth back to the arm o here so you can see the shape shape so now the back of your wedding dress depends on what you want but I'll be making use of a loop. I'm going to send you the picture of how it's going to look for the back. So now, for you doing that loop, that loop, um, that um, rope, using a rope at the back instead of the zip, you're going to make use of that. So using that, then it has different shapes. You can make use of a straight one. I'm going to send a picture of that straight one, and you can make use of a, a very slanted one. It's going to be slant this way. And you can make it a very straight one, but because I'm making, but because I'm making a ball dress, I will prefer a slant one. So it's going to slant down into the ball dress. But if I'm making a normal corset or normal blouse, you can make it of that straight one, so that there will be zip down on your um down part. But because I'm making it of a ball, I'm making, I'm going to make it of that slanted one. But I'm going to mark. I want it to be wide, but not as not as I don't want it too wide. Because um so so that you can have many um sizes in so I can fit many sizes so I'm going to mark about three point five or I should just make use of my data allowance which is four so I'm going to mark four inches 
you can still continue making it, making it four. And as you are going down, you reduce it to 3.5. You can reduce it to 3.5. Just slant it all the way down. This down part can make it of two. Here, you can make it of 2.5. Here, about 2.75. You know, just a way to slant it down. The way to map it so you get what I'm talking about. like this so i'm going to call this out now so you really get um what i'm saying then i will show you when i'm done so this is how it looks this is the yoke at the back and this is the down part now don't mistake this for so the look is going to be from here from starting from here down why there'll be button here why we call that on the fabric i think you should you understand better yeah, there is going to be this upper part is going to be in form of U. It's going to be in form of U, and there will be button at the middle here. Why? Why there will be loop down here, down to the ball. So when we are done cutting to the fabric, you understand. And when you want to cut it out of the fabric, make sure you add necessary allowances. Like there will be allowance, there will be half inch here. You add one half inch on the fabric, half inch on the fabric, half inch on the fabric here. All of that measurements are already there. The reason for the half inch is to join it together, to join the fabrics together so your length won't be short. So this is all about the back. And you can make different backs. I know some people be asking about sewing allowance. You can decide not to use this loop. You can decide to use um zip. It depends on what you want and how far you can go. So if you want to use zip, don't forget to add your sewing, your two inches or your 1.5. depends on what you use for your sewing allowance. 